you will be able to calculate the average atomic mass of an element given its isotopes. Let's look at chlorine. It has 17 protons, 18 neutrons. So its mass number is going to be the protons plus the neutrons. 17 plus 18 equals 35. 35 is its mass number. So we call that chlorine 35. And that is the nucle nuclear notation, the nuclide notation of chlorine 35. A mass number of 35, 17 protons, that's the atomic number, and the element symbol is Cl. And that's how you write in nuclide notation or AZX notation. Now, there is, exists another type of atom of chlorine which has 17 protons and 20 neutrons. That has a mass number of 37. 17 plus 20 equals 37. So this nuclear notation looks like that, and that is called chlorine 37. So we have different versions of the same atom and chlorine 37 and chlorine 35 and these are called isotopes. An isotope is a different version of the same atom. Now with isotopes they have identical chemical properties so in chemical reactions chlorine 35 behaves just like chlorine 37. The only difference is in the number of neutrons chlorine 35 has 18 neutrons Chlorine 37 has 20 neutrons. And because of this difference in the number of neutrons, they differ in mass. So here uh, we have a mass spectrometer, which is a device used to separate different atoms based on atomic mass. And mass spectrometers can help us detect different isotopes of an element. And they do so by beaming charged atoms past a magnet. Because they're charged, the magnet has the potential to bend their trajectory by attracting or repelling them. The lighter atoms are bent more than the heavier atoms. Allow me to illustrate. So here we have the charged particles going past the magnet and the magnet is going to attract Um, substance A more than substance B. So that must mean that substance A is lighter than substance B because it's easier to bend its trajectory. It's easier to bend its path. Well, A turned out to be chlorine 35 while B turned out to be chlorine 37. So this shows that chlorine 35 has less mass than chlorine 37. They're different isotopes. So chlorine 35 is going to bend more. It's going to be easier to change its path when the charged atom is ran past the magnet. Again, uh, using chlorine as an example, chlorine 35 has 17 protons, 18 neutrons with a mass number of 35. Uh, which is the sum of the protons and neutrons. Chlorine 37 has 17 protons and 20 neutrons with a mass number of 37. But that number right there on the periodic table beneath the chlorine symbol, that's neither 35 nor 37. So why is that? Why is that a decimal? Well, because you have chlorine 35, 75.78% of all the chlorine in existence exists as this isotope, chlorine 35. So 75% of chlorine has a mass number of 35. The other 24% has a mass number of 37. So the average atomic mass is going to be the mass of isotope 1 multiplied by the percent of isotope 1 and we're going to take that number and we're going to add to it the mass of isotope 2 multiplied by the percent of isotope 2. 
So in this example, the average atomic mass is going to be 35, which is the mass of chlorine 35, multiplied by the percent, 0.7578. That's how you convert this percent to a decimal. Just move it to, to the left. Then, when we do that, we get, if I can get this bar to move off the bottom, here we go, uh, 35 times 0.7578 is equal to 26.523. Okay, now we move on to the next step. We're going to add the mass of isotope 2, that's 37, multiplied by the percent of isotope 2, turning 24.14% into a decimal multiply by 0.2414 and we get 8.9318 so we add those two together 26.523 plus 8.9318 and we get the average atomic mass of 34 35.454 which is basically um, this number right here and that's how you calculate the um, average atomic mass. The average atomic mass is the average mass of the stable isotopes of an atom. So we have some chlorine 35s, we have some chlorine 37s. When we get the average, we get 35.45.